Goro, a truck driving drifter, and his sidekick Gun. Having rustled up an appetite for ramen, make a stop at Tom Popo's ramen shop, but soon discover that Tam Popo's ramen isn't good. Thus begins Tam Popo's rigorous training under Goro's direction to achieve the perfect ramen shop. Learning from her competitors, expanding her potential recipes, and trained by a wide cast of eccentric gourmets who see the full potential she doesn't yet see in herself. This is Juzo Itami's Tampopo, a screwball comedy with an adoration for the art of cooking, an underdog story at its heart, focusing on redemption and human perseverance. Tampopo also effortlessly provides an ambitious crossover fusion of eclectic genres, while also examining the different significant meanings of food via vignettes, which naturally flow into the next to form a narrative world full of life that is as delectable as the food. Tampopo effectively fuses conventions of Golden Age era Hollywood romantic comedies, the western genre, noir and crime drama, erotica and melodrama into an ambitious underdog story. Tampopo is our underdog, a character of generosity and kindness, dedication and inner strength. Yet her ramen shop is struggling with the leadership of Drifter Goro, who isn't unlike an enigmatic cowboy figure. Tampopo faces anxiety at the thoughts of failure, exhaustion from dedicated practice, but also the eventual satisfaction and reward of succeeding when she sees that her team enjoys her ramen so much that they even finish the broth. She knows she has finally succeeded. Tampopo's redemption arc from failing ramen cook to successful business owner is a satisfying testament to human perseverance and endurance that, at your lowest point, there is only one way to go and that way is up. Learning from one's own mistakes with the intention to improve is something which Tampopo aims to do. Making her a relatable figure, this is how people become skilled in their field, as we all experience failure at one point or another. It's what we do with the experience of failure that makes the difference. With nurturing guidance, Tampopo is able to develop her skills Skills, snatching customers from her competitors, having improved her recipes to such a great extent that maybe those competing restaurants could learn a thing or two from Tampopo's newfound ability. Tampopo's sense of redemption at the end of the film is incredibly satisfying, especially as her personality is so deeply admirable, tender-natured, empathetic, enthusiastic and eager to learn. Tampopo is bound to serve as an inspiration for anyone who wishes to achieve their goals, as long as they're willing to put put in the time and effort to make the necessary improvements, as well as take on board essential constructive criticism. As we see her grow into a success, there's a warming sense that anything is possible as long as we put our minds to it. Tampopo is also a film accompanied by short sketches and vignettes that explore the significance of food, brilliantly expanding on the film's story world building, focusing on the eccentric, silly and downright balmy ways that food impacts the lives of others. A grocery store manager chases an elderly customer who incessantly gropes food in the shop, leading to a game of cat and mouse. A husband demands his dying wife to make a final meal for the family in an attempt to keep her alive, dying soon after serving her family one final time, and a gangster in white orders room service, using the ordered food to explore sexual possibilities. Each vignette retains Yuzo Itami's distinct sense of comic humour and absurdity, while exploring the significance of food, food as a love language or source of eroticism, the social etiquette of food, food as a source of wisdom, food as a sign of respect to the memory of a loved one, not unlike sharing the recipes of deceased family members to keep their memory alive. Tampopo is a film that expresses the universal significance of food. Food is so essential to living, but it is also a great source of joy, nostalgia and knowledge, and that food is a necessity within the early stages of our life. As Tampopo's credits roll over the image of a mother breastfeeding her baby, it makes it easier to acknowledge that Juzo Itami's film suggests that we become reliant on food early in life, and that to appreciate the essential joys of food is to be human. Tampopo's deep appreciation and affection for food is infectious, and not only will the film make many viewers hungry during its runtime, but hopefully the film will also deepen the viewer's own relationship and appreciation for the food they eat. 
In conclusion, Juzo Itami's Tampopo, with its ambitious fusion of a variety of genres, captures the essence of inspiration that is significant with underdog tales, encouraging viewers to achieve the loftiest of goals, alongside the thoughtful and humorous considerations that places such societal, personal and spiritual significance on food, making for a film easily adored by foodies everywhere. By the end of Tampopo, not only should we be able to deepen our appreciation of one of life's greatest joys, food, but we should also be able to feel like we can take on the world. A special thank you to my incredible tier Patreon supporter Gil and my super tier Patreon supporters Constantin Bombelli and Victoria.